Easy peeps! Okay. I think I know how you can get rid of this problem. Like, as in, get rid of my father? <laughs> I don't think I could do that. What? No. We just have to take away the prestige of the El Mago name by exposing El Mago Jr. and in turn your dad as frauds. Then, this will all go away. How do we do that? Just follow my lead. In the meantime, we should continue competing on NXT like nothing's up. Right, how are we doing? Hope everybody is okay. Welcome to another episode of My Rise. We have a tag match. It's Hector and Queen Queen Stop Hicks versus Wild and Mendoza. Let's get into the action. He's able to fend off the attack. A running hurricane rata. Oh, oh, oh. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back in it, guys. That unraveled on Mendoza. Oh, looks like we're going to see it. Selena Del Sol. Will Mendoza recover? Ooh, hoo, hoo. he can end it here. He's got him. Flores. And teamwork makes the dream work. So, we've had another tag match. We want Hector to follow our lead in dealing with the problems with his fake son and his dad, <laughs> if that's the way we put it. So, we've got Decagon talking to El Margo, talking to La Vaganza. It's setting up a match between Al Margo, Al Margo Jr., who isn't really Al Margo's son. Obviously, Hector is Al Margo's son. And these two unknown masked people on Twitter. We give it away. We, we, it's, yeah, of course it's me and Hector, right? Of course it is. The plan is working so far. My dad reached out about what to do. I told him to take the tag match, win, and then it would be the perfect time for me to capitalize on the publicity and become our Margot Jr. in NXT. So, we need to win the match. We are the must. De Decagon and Lev Levenganzo, or whatever they're called. That's basically me and Hector in masks, all right? The idea is we are going to try and set up Al Margo to unveil who the real Al Margo Jr. is. However, Al Margo's not in on it. Hector's dad's not on it. Not in on it. He believes that he's going to win the match because he's a superstar, and he doesn't believe that he's going to lose to these two must upstarts because he doesn't know who they are. So we need to win this match against Al Margo and Al Margo Jr. We can then deal with the problems that Hector has because NXT wanting to be unveiled as Al Margo Jr. Hector doesn't want that. He wants to say, stay as Hector Flores. So we need to beat these two. We are in the beautiful La Plaza in Mexico. We just need to take these two down. So, we hit El Margo Jr. I mean, you can see the moves, right? I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that's Queen Quick Stop hits under the mask. Do you know what I mean? Do you, do you know what I mean? But hey, nobody knew that Hulk Hogan was Mr. America. So, stranger things have happened, right? Stranger things have happened. So, we are putting the pressure on El Margo Jr. Hector's looking snazzy in his black and red on the outside. We are pumping up the crowd in Mexico. We hit Al Margo Jr. with the full stop. We knock Al Margo out of the ring. All we need to do now is pin him to get the win. Two, three. The must nobodies beat Al Margo and Al Margo Jr. What's going to happen next? We're not letting Jr. go anywhere. We've got a mic. Let's see what happens. 
Before we get to the unmasking, we have something else to reveal. El Mago Jr. isn't who you've been told he is. He is not El Mago's son. And we can prove it now. Who's that, Blurb? Doesn't look like he's from around here, huh? That's because El Mago Sr. hired him to play the role. It was all a scheme to capitalize on his own notoriety, to lie to you, and steal your hard-earned money. Let him go. He's already brought enough shame upon himself. No need to unmask him and pile on. But if these fine people here want to let him know he's a fraud, I'd be okay with that. Fraude, 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 fraude. Yeah, well, Margo, you absolute fraude. I'm like, Hector, he's under that black mask. He hasn't unveiled himself, so people still don't know that that was Hector. People don't know what Hector's secret is. I don't really truly understand what the whole point of it was. <laughs> I don't know. I'm as lost as you. I gotta be honest, right? I, I, I don't I don't even know. Hopefully we're gonna get some clarification from Hector now in the DMs. Right, let's go. Good news. Heard from my dad and he no longer wants to, me to be El Margo Jr. after what happened. Not to mention NXT has lost all interest in it too. So I guess the co Decagon and the Vengas make a pretty good team. They do. Thanks for helping me with all of this. If it wasn't for you, my career would be heading in a bad direction right now. Hey, Hexa, my friend. I'm glad I could help. If you ever need anything, I got you back. I owe you that. Thanks. I mean, he could have put love and a kiss, but that's all right. That's okay, right? We have single-handedly stopped his dad from ruining his career. He wants to make it on his own. He wants to be Hector Flores. He doesn't want to be Al Margo Jr. It's, uh, it's I don't know. It's, it's all a little. It's all a little bit too confusing. I, 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 I don't. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. So let's just move on. We, we fixed it. He's not going to be Al Margo Jr. Hector's secret is is out. Is an out. I don't. I, I don't know. Anyway, Regal. I've got an interesting message today. Adam Pierce contacted me to propose a trade for your future considerations. Vague, right? Thought I'd ask you. So basically, he's also giving us an option to change brands whenever we want. So he's kind of doing what, what Last Call Mandy used to do before. Regal's doing the same thing. And of course, we've also got McMahon that's doing the same thing as well. That's just so that we can tick off any other missions from different brands that we need to tick off. But we've still got a few bad guy missions that we need to do in NXT. And we've, uh, sorry, a few good guy missions that we need to do in NXT. And we haven't gone really down the bad guy route in NXT yet. So it kind of makes sense to stay. However, we still need to tick off a couple on Raw and we still need to tick off a couple on SmackDown. So, it, you know, sometimes the spice of life is to change things up. And I, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have a think about it. And we'll make a decision in the next video, shall we? Of whether we're going to stay or we're going to mix it up. And then we can keep coming back and forth to various brands. Right, if you are new around here, you saw the work that we just done with Hector. We have saved his life, right? So why don't you save somebody's life by subscribing to the channel? I don't know if it's going to subside. I don't know if it's going to save anybody's life by subscribing, but you don't know. It's worth, it's worth a shot, right? And if you've got this far after me waffling on, GG, drop a thumbs up. You deserve it. I deserve it. Everybody deserves it. But for now, my friends, that's the end of this, my voice. Tune into the next episode. I appreciate it all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.